This is an RCA, yeah. yes, mallet, big screen that I, I rolled home to EOL. And we plugged it in, and we were thinking these are cigarette burns, but it started like fizzing and smoking and burning out of here. Yeah, man, I smell it. It's, it's, uh... Here, see if we could get this off. Some more nice speakers to add to the collection. There it goes, hear it? Yeah. Yeah, you can smell it too. Open it. Oh, let's, oh, let's unplug it and open it and see what's burning. This thing is an absolute monster. What? It's Torx? Yeah. It's 10 years old. Torx? Yeah. It's got uh, 2005 manufacturing days. It's got DVI and component HD, so it's from the early days of HD. Pre Boy, it sure stinks, man. Let's see, can we get one of these in there? Let's, let's get the appropriate tools and get it open. Okay, we're going to inject power and look for smoke. Go ahead, plug it in. Okay, it's on. Oh, it is high voltage arcing. Wait, stand by. Okay, do it again. Well, I haven't done anything. Turn it on. I don't even know where the switch is. Where was it? Oh, here. Okay, here we go. Do it again. I heard it arcing. Yeah. Wow, 29 to 33 kilovolts. This thing really cranks along. Well, let's see if we can... The high voltage comes to right here this thing splits it up. So go ahead, plug it in. Tried to come up. Dude, it came up. It's up. Okay. There it cut off. Is it going to be this here, the cord? Oh, dude, it arced inside the CRT. There you go. Unplug it. Let's let it. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Power Plug it up. in. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay, powered. That might have been the end of the line, but I definitely saw it arc inside that CRT. Oh, did you, you hear that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I think that's the flyback doing that every time you turn it on. Uh, the power switch is just a suggestion on these things. It's not a... <laughs> The power switch just simply suggests to the microprocessor that you'd like to watch TV. 
you're not in control of this damn thing. Okay, unplug it again. Okay, plug it back in. I think it's time to EOL it, man. I think it's got it. one of these CRTs is internally shorting or arcing or something. It's uh, just done. Well, I think I figured out why that CRT is arcing inside. These two are good. Addictive. So we're scrapping out, or I'm scrapping out the set that I EOL'd yesterday. And I just grabbed this off the street. Someone had put it out on the other side of the street, and I walked down about a block and rolled it home. And um, these things have a lot of good parts in them for old, you know, testing and restoring old TVs. Of course, you got the... Uh, the main, you know, processing unit, and it's got a, it's got a couple thousand at 250 volts there. It's got a 220 at 400 volts. Uh, it's got a lot of, you know, good caps and diodes and stuff for testing. I don't even know what these things are. They're like TO220 package. There sure are a lot of them. Um, it's some kind of cardboard thing with, uh, uh, like, plas reflective plastic wrap or something on it. Mirror light. Usually they're glass and metal. These mirrors are great for doing convergence on old TVs, and this is a really cool one because it's unbreakable. It's, uh... Doesn't matter if it tips over, it's not going to scratch anything, it's not glass. These boards here are good. They have a bunch of high voltage capacitors and transistors on them. 22 at 250 volt. Uh, those are good in your All-American 5 radios. Um, sometimes on the old TV, the, when the pins go bad, you can on the CRT socket, you can pull them out of here. Uh, a lot of good high voltage wire. Check out the speakers. I already took the drivers out, but I'm going to put them back in. Look at these nice little self-contained speaker boxes. And then here you have three really cool, really nice magnifying lenses. This is the Fresnel lens here makes a great magnifying glass it would melt just about anything i give you a quick demonstration of one of these magnifying glasses i don't want to i don't want to ruin my camera so i'm gonna The camera's not picking up at burning the uh, paper and setting the paper on fire, and I'm not going to ruin my camera, but trust me, it, will, it sets it on fire. I even save all the screws out of these things for, uh, you know, working on vintage TVs. So if you're actually into vintage electronics, and you see one of these projector sets out on the street, which we're starting to see a ton of them now because they're failing and parts are no longer available for them and they're so bulky and clunky compared to a new LCD and power hungry. Grab it and part it out because if you don't, the scrappers are going to and you're going to miss out on all these cool parts. 
that are really useful when restoring old vintage electronics. It's also got a bunch of high voltage wire in it for um, the focus and the CRTs. You know, get all of this stuff, save it. Here is the Sharp that uh, got EOL'd also. And this, I've been finding a lot of these Sharp sets about this vintage out on the street, and none of them work. These must have been real junk. And it seems like the power buttons are always busted, and we tried it, and it still didn't work. So we'll open this one up. These have some really cool little speakers in them. They're a little round. If they're like the other ones that I've had, they're little round speakers. So we'll pop the back off and see what kind of goodies we could find in here. Oh, the RF connector was busted off too. That was the other thing. Yeah, there you go. There's the tuner assembly. And these are the little speakers I was talking about. So I'll strip this out. The degaussing coil, the circuit board. This can come home or stay home. Uh, we got a couple speakers here. I'll grab this board, and that's about it. The rest of it can go in the dump. Oh, so here's what I keep. I keep the little speakers. They're kind of cool. Use those for something. These screws are good uh, for old TVs with wood backs. They got the big things. This is kind of cool. Use that for testing or something. Of course, I keep this. The degaussing coil, I've actually, these got really good wire in them. I actually unrolled these and made uh, HF ham radio antennas out of those things and talked all over the country on them. Uh, got a power cord. So this, this and this can go in the trash.